Hello and welcome to Business Reporters, the Future of Insurance campaign. I'm Alistair Greener and today I'm talking to Ulrich Wisloff and also Sally Powell from Pi Health. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Now, there's a trend at the moment that um, health insurance has so much more with it. The fact that it's now about looking after people's health, it's looking at um, extra activities like fitness and sport, and it's changing the dynamics of insurance industry. What's driving that trend? Yes, if insurers can change their relationship with their customers to be less transactional and more engaging and personable, the positive impact there is that you're improving health and therefore attracting and retaining business and customers. So given the fact that this is clearly a benefit for all insurers and all organisations, then it begs the question, how can a, an operator coming up with all of these new benefits differentiate itself from a different operator? Yes, um, through strategic partnerships, like with our company, um, that have solutions that are science-backed. And talking of your company, of course, your Pi, you have something a little bit different. Tell us a little bit about it and how it works. Yeah, so Pi is a new standard for activity tracking. Uh, it's basically an algorithm that analyzes your heart rate over a week and uh, translates that into a score, a Pi score. And the Pi score is directly linked to the risk of developing uh, cardiovascular and lifestyle-related diseases. So that's basically what it is. PI stands for Personal Activity Intelligence, and it's a personalized score that guides you to the optimal amount of physical activity that you need to lead a longer and healthier life. And we bring value to the end user, of course, as well as the insurer through um, better risk analytics and engagement. Now, I know you went to the gym yesterday and you had a bit of a workout, and you also tried PI on a few people who are down there. Show us how you got on and more importantly, what the results were. Yeah, so if you see here, uh, you can see my Pi score over the last week is 138. Uh, the aim is always to stay above 100. That's the optimal limit to obtain a good fitness level and also reduce risk. It's based upon a weekly uh, physical activity status. And that's also the beauty of Pi. You can choose to do exercise twice per week and then even, even only twice per week you have done enough if you if you get above 100 pi and the reason number one not to exercise for people is lack of time so here you can actually plan your uh, physical activity during a week if you have a busy week but you have all the time to fill up the, the, the bank account. We made this algorithm based upon, actually now we have more than 500,000 people in the database and we have more than 30,000 people that have died. So it's not just a random number, it's, it's based upon heart rate. And of course the algorithm was not from zero to 100, it was something completely different than that. But we made it from zero to 100 because it's easy to understand. Now, interestingly enough, again, you, you were talking about the threshold being 100 and everything's done on, on a weekly basis. Why a week and not 10 days, a month, a year or whatever? We live our lives in seven day cycles and it makes it more realistic. Um, you know, exercising does take time. And uh, our solution is for people who even, you know, don't like going to the gym or don't have the motivation to have an active lifestyle. It meets you where you're at and it's it's a smart goal um, that coaches and engages you as time goes on. And coming back to what you were talking about earlier on about it being personalised, because we are all very different. So does that mean that our, our score of 100 may be different, our targets are different, the way we do things are different? You know, where does that personalisation actually fit into the Pi programme? So for the Pi programme, you, the only thing you need is to have a heart rate monitor and it's based upon your maximal and resting heart rate, your age and gender. And just to mention, um, we use um, heart rate data from wearables. So we have a wearable um, device neutral um, strategy and um, we sync up with all of the major wearables on the market globally. So what is it about this that's going to make it the big differentiator from anything else that's out there? It's simple, it's easy to understand. The barrier to entry is very low and you get instantly something back. You get a personalized plan that meets you where you're at and a seven day accessible goal that calibrates, gets easier and harder depending on where you're at. And ultimately, all activities count. 
because we are measuring your body's reaction um, to any activity. You said already that there are so many different wearables out there that's measuring all of this. I mean, people can test already their fitness levels, their VO2 max, they can test their heart rate. So why do they need this? Because we are um, one of the very few in the market at the moment that's been correlated to risk, um, specifically mortality and morbidity. And we work with a major reinsurer as well as insurance partners to correlate that personal health score um, to underwriting risk and guiding um, that policyholder, that customer moving forward to have, have healthier health outcomes. So we're really helping people who are relatively inactive, which is the largest part of the population. I think it's important to, to, to say that a differ differentiator here is that measuring heart rate is it's not nothing magic, but um, heart rate doesn't tell us anything about your health. So, so that was the reason we invented Pi. Everyone agrees that your uh, heart rate is, your, is the response on any physical activity. So we were able to match this with people's life and how it, how it went with them. It tells you when you have done enough physical activity to stay healthy. Okay, so it, it makes sense to me. And let's say that you've won over employees and therefore employers and an insurance company decides, actually, I like the idea of, of Pi. Let's bring that on board. Explain how it's going to actually work. What's the process that they're going to go uh, through when they're working with you? Um, first of all, our big value is in our data analytical reports that we provide to insurers, because what we're doing is providing personalized and um, data insets to make population health management more accessible to insurers and employers alike. So we are API led, uh, which means our technology interfaces seamlessly with existing apps and other digital platforms. And we are able to uh, work also um, with other partners in the ecosystem um, to demonstrate the efficacy of their solutions and really drive engagement and retention of users and health programs. The other aspect that's very important that we're very passionate about is that we can also help previously uninsurable people because of a health condition become healthier and then allow them to be eligible for coverage. Now, as we know today, you know, organizations are able to gather huge amounts of data. It becomes a real treasure trove, if you like. What do you actually do with that data? What can you do with it that's going to be of benefit to everybody? Mm -hmm. So, first of all, um, all, not all data is created equal. And yes, insurers have a lot of data. However, the majority of that is still raw because of multiple um, back office systems, for example. So what we're offering is structured data. So we are actually structuring the heart rate data of customers um, in a way to put them into risk buckets, as it were. And what we're doing here is providing data points and insights to help insurers have more accurate population risk management. And so what that translates into is if you have an in-force um, book of business of a particular product line, if we are able to improve the cardiovascular fitness of that block of business by let's say 1%, that often translates into millions of dollars of savings. Um, and it also reframes the conversation of policyholders when they talk about their insurer from being just a bill payer to someone who's enabled a better health outcome for me within one premium year. That's adding value to my life today, longer, healthier life. As you've proven, technology is moving at an, an incredible pace. What's next for Pi? Our vision is to become the global standard for physical activity. And what we're doing now is working with insurance partners globally. And we are inviting more because we want to reach a global audience. And what's so wonderful about the Pi score is that it's also language neutral. You know, everyone understands a number. And ultimately, um, better health is better for nations, societies and humanity. So it's, it's pretty much a win-win. We've talked a lot about you know, 
the pie score about the relationship between employers, employees and insurance companies. For any key decision makers who are watching this interview, what would you like them to remember? We would like to remember to keep it very simple and cardiorespiratory fitness is really coming out of the shadows now in terms of being the baseline measurement and also the start of all of the chronic diseases, the lifestyle diseases that are all preventable, really enabling people and employees um, to be healthier absolutely has impact on their productivity, their mental health, and their retention with that company. Well, there's no question people's health is very much at the forefront of everybody's minds at the moment. And anything that's going to make us a healthier society has got to be a good thing. So it's been great finding out uh, more about this particular solution. So Ulrich Wislov and also Sally Powell from Pi Health, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you.